So you're in a very strong position for understanding where different molecules fit in. So you can go, you're actually equipped to go into all sorts of specialist areas, not because you've got the knowledge, but because you've got the background of being able to put that knowledge in frame. And there's a fantastic need for veterinary uh, uh, graduates to go into postgraduate training in a number of very different fields, um, a lot of them very creative. Um, but to fill the world of epidemiology, for example, with all sorts of interesting and actually rather frightening new diseases appearing and spreading because of climate change and because people are moving around more. You guys are, uh, as like, like, like medically qualified people, are in a sense better qualified because you have some understanding of what's in common between the species and what's different between them. Um, so I would urge all of you, now that you've reached the stage of being part of this leadership, um, to have your minds opened up to the possibilities of moving out into the world. Uh, you move countries, a lot of you to come to this course. That's also a good thing to be exposed to other um, cultures. But to move into areas of science that you haven't perhaps but, um, previously thought and build that on the education and experiences that you've had today. So I, I think I'll, I'll uh, repeat a little bit what I said earlier that. Uh, you have to be doing something that you enjoy. And that's very important to find. And it, it, it's not very critical what it is. You just find something that you enjoy. And then when you go to sleep at night, you wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And, <laughs> and you'll have a neat uh, creativity idea. You'll have created something. And uh, then the, th the, the, the third thing I'd say in that respect is then, is, uh, uh, in a way, reinforcing what you said. That don't be frightened of something new. That's very, very important because uh, uh, amongst the other things I've done in my life, I've taught flying and um, I've had people come to me who, who were teaching uh, a person to fly in a glider. The student is in front and uh, you are behind. And I've had students who, who were so frightened that they go, oh, no, 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 when you want to demonstrate something and come back with, with absolutely soaked to the skin with sweat. And when I learned to, to, to fly a suit, I, I turned to my instructor one day and I said, that was a good day today, only one drop dripped. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then that same student who had a, the, a, the wet shirt came to me when he went uh, by himself the first time solo, which is a, a, a big event for a student came back and had a big print on his face and he said, look Oliver, try! <laughs> Overcome fear with knowledge.